WebFocus is a web-based development platform that you can use to quickly and easily create content from your data. WebFocus Designer, the primary tool, enables you to manage your data using data flows, create charts and reports, and combine them in interactive and responsive pages. With WebFocus, you can go from data discovery to content creation to content integration and application development all from a single platform, quickly and easily sharing your insights with others. WebFocus makes business analytics insights available to everyone and is highly scalable. With the Total Access Cloud, getting set up is easy and deployments are simpler, with greater flexibility to handle growth and demand. It's also easy to use. You can quickly and easily go through an entire data exploration process using the new Enhanced Designer tool from accessing your data and data wrangling through content creation and application development. As a result, WebFocus makes collaboration within and across departments easy. Administrators can choose what content and features are available to which users, and anyone can easily share and distribute the content they have created. Even with all of the content created by a large user base, you can find what you need. You can easily access the data that matters to you with search functionality that is integrated into the home page. Just like using Google, you can search through your content using text queries to get insights more quickly. Accessing all of that data is also a snap. WebFocus includes adapters that let you access hundreds of different data sources, including big data, social media, analytics, and spreadsheets, and allows you to administer that data so that it's easily digestible to use in your content. You can present all that data in an info app to convey both a broad panoramic view of your data and the precise detailed intuitions that you need. Info apps give you the tools to hone in on the information that matters to you. You can enhance these observations with predictive analytics to make your decision making even more informed. With the ability to integrate with Python and R, you can take the data that you already have and use it to forecast what's coming next. The tools that you use to create this content are available from the WebFocus homepage. The home page provides access to four views where you can access different content arranged in different ways. The home view shows recent content, content that you've marked as a favorite, and portals. My workspace shows private content that you've created. Shared with me shows private content created by other users that has been shared with you. Workspaces shows the workspaces in your environment that are available to you. You can also access resources to create other components, such as portals, alerts, reporting objects, and more. The content that you create or access in each workspace can be customized for different users and groups. You can quickly access the content that you use most frequently, such as recently accessed items and favorites, and find any content that you created in a My Content folder or shared with you. You can find these items even faster with built-in search functionality. Create or edit content, manage data, upload resources, and more from the options and menus on the home page. You can use these options to add to and manage the data accessible in your environment. Create charts and reports and build them into or add them to interactive pages. You can create these pages within a portal application that showcases related content items, share and distribute that content, and more. Tools to help administer your WebFocus deployment are available from the Utilities button and User menu. And you can also access a comprehensive set of help resources, including topics and videos. Administrators can also use the Tools button to manage the environment and its users. Organize your resources in WebFocus however works best for you. You can use workspaces and folders to organize content pertaining to different departments, different data sources, or different types of content. 
and use user roles and groups to give different colleagues different levels of access to each one. User privileges are easily customizable. Administrators can use the Security Center to add users to groups to quickly give them the same set of privileges or manage what each user can access on a case-by-case -case basis. The private content that you create in a My Content folder automatically displays inside the My Workspace view. Users with access to other workspaces can publish content to make it accessible to everyone with access to the folder in which it's located, or they can share their content with individual users, allowing for collaboration and privacy for each item depending on the circumstances. Items shared with another user show up in their Shared With Me view. For more information about managing workspaces and users and navigating the homepage, check out the Welcome to Web Focus resources in the Knowledge Base. Now that we're situated in our environment, let's get ready to create some content. In order to create that content, we'll need access to data. Whether you're using data from a spreadsheet or a database, WebFocus makes it easy to bring data into your environment so you can start exploring it. If you're using a spreadsheet, CSV file, or other local file as a data source, do a data upload. Click the Get Data option on the home page and select the format in which your data is saved. WebFocus makes it easy to bring in a file, take the components you need, and preview them to make sure they match your expectations. WebFocus automatically interprets your data to organize it into a logical structure. Columns that start with the same word and are next to each other in the data source are grouped into hierarchies, allowing you to navigate through your data to pinpoint precise sets of values. You can also add geographic roles to facilitate powerful mapping tools and edit the field format. For more information about accessing data from a spreadsheet or other file, see the Uploading Data Files topic and the How to Upload Data video in the Knowledge Base. You can also access your data if it is stored in a database. Click Get Data to begin. WebFocus includes a wide variety of adapters that you can use to access data on relational, big data, ERP, social media, statistical analysis, and many other data sources. Enter your credentials and then select the tables and other objects that you need from the data source. You can also search for the objects you need and use. You can select multiple tables from your data source and join them on the data tab in WebFocus Designer later. Alternatively, you can select one table that you know has both dimension and measure fields and create content immediately without joining. For more information about accessing data from a database or other remote data source, see the Connecting to Data Files topic and How to Connect to Data video in the Knowledge Base. When you're ready, click Add to create content. Using WebFocus Designer, you can create different types of content to visualize your data. You can create new content and combine it into a visualization, or you can assemble a visualization from existing content. Reports allow you to organize, aggregate, and display precise data values in a tabular format. Charts allow you to display your data in a visual format for instant interpretation. WebFocus includes a variety of chart enhancements so you can dig deeper into the chart for more precise analysis. Add multiple charts, reports, and more to interactive and responsive pages to communicate a complete view of your data. Using many different items to present a view that is more than the sum of its parts. For immediate interpretation, you can create a data flow, make a set of charts and reports, and immediately add them to a page within a single session. You can keep everything in one place to access later, allowing you to quickly and easily engage in the data discovery process and revisit your results at any time. Let's show you how it works by creating a visualization from new content. From the home page, click Visualize Data. When WebFocus Designer opens, Select a data source with the fields you want to use in your content. 
let's bring in another related table to help us provide even more information. Use the Data tab to create a data flow that joins related data sources for use in your content. Simple data profiling utilities help you evaluate how effectively the data was joined. For more information, see the joining data topic in the knowledge base. You can explore this joined data by creating charts and reports. Notice that the newly joined table containing the return segment is now available to use in our content even though it wasn't in the original data source. Simply drag fields to the appropriate buckets to create your content. You can modify the data from these fields using field calculations, quick transforms, aggregations, and more. You can modify the content you create in Web Focus Designer by selecting a content type from the content picker. A variety of chart types are also available so you can explore different relationships in your data. Use a bar chart to show absolute values for a dimension field, or use a pie chart to show how each value in a field constitutes a proportion of the total. You can use reports to show more granular data values, making it possible to analyze your data at a more precise level. There's a content type for almost any set of data that you want to investigate, and if those don't suit your fancy, you can access custom-made chart extensions for even more options. Enhance your charts by using matrix rows and columns, filters, custom styling, and more. Apply filters to individual charts using static filters or to the entire page by creating a prompt that can be accessed when the chart is run. When you create a filter, you can select multiple values to apply. One fast and easy way to create a prompted filter is to select areas of a chart, allowing you to instantly visualize the impact of your filter. For standalone items, you can also enable runtime behaviors such as Auto Link, Auto Drill, and Insight, which you can use to connect your users to even more information or give them the ability to modify their view of content to make their own discoveries. Your content creation options are nearly endless and let you customize not only how your data is communicated, but also its style and appearance. You can keep experimenting with different charts until you've created a set of content that you're happy with, and preview your work at any time to see how it will look when it's run. You can create a single chart or report or multi-component visualization by adding more charts and reports to it. You can create as many new items as you want within the canvas. To convert a single item, click Add Visualization, which creates a second container with a new content item. Or click Convert to Page to change the chart or report into a page without adding another content item. These pages are responsive and provide interactive filter prompts so users can focus on the information that is most important to them. Populate these containers with new content by dragging a field to the container. If you create a new content item as part of the visualization and decide you want to save it separately to use on its own, right-click it in the outline and click Save As. For more information about creating content in Designer, see the Visualizing Data Topics and Videos in the Knowledge Base. If you'd like to group your content in a single application, you can create a portal with the pages of related content. A portal is a folder structure to which you can add multiple pages with the option to build them on the same level or in a hierarchy. Let's create a portal. On the home page, select the Workspaces view. Choose the workspace in which you want to create the portal, and then on the action bar, click Portal. Depending on your environment, the Portal option may appear on the Application tab. Portals use a static URL that allows you to easily share access to your visualizations, making your information available to anyone in your organization. You can easily navigate between pages in a portal, providing access to a substantial amount of information. You can use cascading style sheets to style the portal to match your branding, including your logo. If you enable personal pages in a portal, users can add their own pages to the published portal to show additional insights. 
This is only available if you enable the functionality for your users. You can create new pages directly within your portal structure in the order that you want them to appear. Create new folders in a portal to organize subsections of related pages. You can use the portal structure to guide the information that you want to show on each page. You can add an existing page to a portal by copying it or moving it into a portal or creating a shortcut. Shortcuts are useful when you use a page in multiple portals. If you make a change to the page, it can be reflected anywhere it's shown. For more information, see the new Web Focus Portal video and the Creating Portals topic in the Knowledge Base. Let's start populating our portal by assembling new pages from charts and reports that we created previously. If you don't know how you want to structure your portal, don't worry. You can create your pages and then add them to a portal. On the Web Focus homepage, click the plus button and then click Assemble Visualizations. Web Focus Designer opens and prompts you to select a template. Since you are using existing content, you do not need to select a data source. To add content to the page, drag an item from your repository in the Content tab to the canvas. This creates a container that you can easily resize using the handles. If you add content to a page that contains parameters, Web Focus Designer recognizes them and prompts you to automatically create filters. If you click the Quick Filter icon, filter controls are added to the page with all available parameters displayed. You can also use the Choose Filters to Add to Page option on the Quick Filter menu to select the individual filter controls that you want to add. Pages assembled from external content include additional filter styling options. You can change filter types, merge related filters, and configure different default filter values by user or by values previously used for that parameter. You can style various elements using the options on the Settings and Format tabs and add different types of containers to the page, some of which allow you to add multiple items to a single element. For more information about adding content to pages, see the Adding Content to a Page topics in the Knowledge Base. Now that we've created pages in our portal, let's see how it looks. Notice that each page is listed on the toolbar, and menus allow us to access pages in different folders. You may notice that when you run a portal, a fixed URL is used. This makes the portal easy to share with other users. These users must have your permission to access the portal. This allows you to protect sensitive information and share it only with a specific group of users that you define. If you create content directly in a workspace or generic folder, you can make it available to other users by right-clicking it and then clicking Publish. Published content appears in color in the Web Focus homepage, while unpublished content appears in grayscale. You may also have a My Content folder in your environment. For example, in the Workspaces view, My Workspace contains one. This folder, as well as the content within it, is accessible only to you. However, you can share files from your My Content folder with other users. Right-click an item and click Share to share it with everyone. Or click Share With to select a specific group of users that you want to share the item with. Use the search box to find the users in your environment with whom you want to share your content. Other users access shared content in a shared folder that indicates the content owner. For more information about sharing content, see the Sharing Content in Web Focus topic in the Knowledge Base. If you have access to Reportcast or scheduling capabilities, you can also share your content by scheduling it for distribution. For example, you could schedule a file to send via email and set how often to send the item. If your data is updated over time, you can send your content on a set schedule to reflect any changes. Similarly, you can send your content to a colleague using a file transfer, send it to a printer, or send it to a report library or repository in your Web Focus environment where you can access multiple versions of your content from a central location.
As you use WebFocus, be sure to check out the related resources in the knowledge base. These topics and technical videos will support you as you perform specific tasks, including those mentioned in this Getting Started video, so you can be successful with WebFocus as quickly as possible. To see what's new, check out the Key Features page. Click a topic to read detailed information about a feature, or click a video link to watch a video showing how you can use the feature. Additionally, you can search the knowledge base for specific topics or videos at any time to find information about a feature or capability. To learn more, visit the WebFocus knowledge base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.